Hi, my name is Dan Warner. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Zoom auditions and auditions on tape, specifically during this pandemic that we're having, uh, not in the history of um, auditioning, at least in my lifetime. Has there been more auditions being submitted on tape at home? And we're going to be talking a little bit about what happens when actors um, have a little bit of time on their hands and they're left to their own devices without a casting director sort of corralling them and uh, sort of keeping them grounded and uh, real. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so we're talking about when actors are putting their auditions on tape and they're left to their own devices. I don't, uh, I don't think that most actors, at least uh, new actors, beginning actors, do very well when they're left to their own devices. They let their imagination sort of run wild. They want to press it a little bit. They want to be larger than life. They want to be... Um, they want to stand out. They want to do something that will make them stand out from the crowd. And so what they end up doing is uh, a bunch of sort of jackassery that doesn't make them stand out from the crowd. It makes them just like everyone else who wants to stand out. And casting directors and directors and people don't want that. They want a real person. They want a professional person. They want someone who's going to show up on the day of. They're going to know their lines. They're going to hit their mark. They're going to move the story forward and they're not going to be um, a pain in the ass. And so a lot of times our slates tell a giant story uh, about who we are and how we're going to be probably on the set. I'm going to be giving you some examples of some slating and some wardrobe choices that people are making that I've seen in Zoom auditions and when I do my coaching when actors are left to their own devices. Again, they try to uh, be larger than life. They want to um, stand out, and so they'll use props. Uh, don't use props unless you're specifically instructed to use a prop by the casting director or on the breakdown. When you get the breakdown, when your agent or manager tells you, hey, you've got an audition, read it thoroughly, read it twice. Most of the time, 98% of the time, they don't want you to use props. So don't use props. What happens is actors again at home, you know, hey, I'm a golfer. I'm going to have a golf club. Don't put a golf club in your slate or your scene because it's distracting and it has nothing to do with right here because that's what they're concerned about is your acting ability. Um, same if, if, if it's a tennis audition or uh, for a commercial. Um, don't be clever. Uh, don't be smart. Don't try to be funny. Don't try to be funny. People that try to be funny, they just mark off the list because those are people that on the set, on the day of, are going to try to be funny. They're going to be on the whole time. That's not your job. Your job is not to entertain the director, the client, the cast, the crew. You've got one job, and that is to do your best work and move the story forward uh, and then get out of the way. Get out of the way. Those are the people that, get, that are going to get called back. Those are the people that are going to continue to work if they act professionally. So here's a few examples of what not to do uh, in your auditions on tape or specifically your Zoom auditions because then they'll see you acting like a jackass and they'll just roll their eyes whether you see it or not and move past you. The first one is a golfer. I call him Golfer Dan. He's a real idiot. Check it out. Yo, what's up? My name's Dan Warner. My friends call me D-War. I am from Los Angeles, California. I'm 6'1". 
Uh, 6'3 with the hair. No, I'm just playing. Ha! <laughs> uh, and uh, not quite a scratch golfer, but, you know, pretty, pretty good. So, okay. Okay, so the golf club clearly distracting. D-War, don't do nicknames. Don't wear goofy hats. Don't... Uh, be an idiot. The, the back, there was no backdrop. It was very distracting. Swing in the club, not looking. They're never going to hire that guy. Never, not ever. In fact, put a line through his name. Don't ever call him again. Here's another one. Hey, my name is Dan Warner. I'm six foot one. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And uh, I play tennis probably, uh, I don't know, two, three times. Two, three times a week. Yeah, so tennis racket guy, you don't need a prop. If you're playing a tennis player, unless they specifically tell you, if you have a tennis racket, please have it. But the twirling around and the moving it in front of the camera, it's super distracting, very unprofessional. That guy's not getting hired either. So try to... Uh, Tame your call of the wild when it comes to Zoom auditions and um, auditions on tape. Don't use props. They're horrible. Here's another one. Hey, my name is Dan Warner. I'm six foot one. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Let's play ball. Okay, referee Dan. Don't blow a whistle. Don't ever blow a whistle. That's stupid and uh you know the whole <laughs> woo don't just slate your name they want you to slate your name your height because they can't really tell because you're not in the room with them and where you're from because people are auditioning from all over the place so it's usually slate your name your height and where you're from sometimes they want you to back up and get a full body shot then do that figure that out uh, i have a whole other video on that so um, yeah, here's one more. Hey, what's up? My name's Dr. Daniel Warner, and I'm six foot one, and I'm from Los Angeles, California, and the diagnosis is my audition is going to come back positive. <laughs> okay, Dr. Warner, or Dr. Shenanigans, Audition is going to come back positive. If you think you've got something clever up your sleeve, you should leave it up your sleeve because, God, they, they don't want you to try to be clever or funny and you don't need a stethoscope. They know you're a doctor, you're wearing scrubs, that's enough. You don't need the stethoscope, you don't need the whistle, the tennis racket, the golf club, a football, a chef's hat. Stop your nonsense. Just slate like you would if you were in a room with a casting director. One of the problems is we're not in a room with a casting director, so we don't have someone going, yeah, put the golf club down, don't blow the whistle, just give us this. Because we don't have that, everyone's sort of playing a little fast and loose with the auditions on tape. Don't do that, please. Just slate your name, be off book, do it as many times as you need to, to, to get it right, uh, tighten up the end, tighten up the beginning, and submit it. And continue to do that, and you will book work. That's when you'll stand out, is when you do that, because that's professional, and that's how you'll book work. Listen, if this was at all helpful, please hit the like button down there, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet, because I will be coming to you every week with tidbits, tips, and tutorials on Auditions, auditions on tape, Zoom auditions, on-camera confidence, on-camera mastery. My name is Dan Warner. Thanks for playing, and we'll see you next week with another fantastic video about this. Helping you get a job as an actor. Thanks. Okay.